This is Tennis Now. Maria Sharapova withdraws from the Brisbane International with the same ankle injury she's been struggling with for months. Zania Pervak switches from Russia to Kazakhstan to play in the Olympics. More rewards for Petra Kvitova. And the ATP chooses a new president and chairman. All of this and more on Tennis Now. And welcome to Tennis Now's twice a week news update show where we've got all you need to know about what's going on in tennis. And happy holidays, I'm James Watterson and we've got a good show for you today. Maria Sharapova has withdrawn from the season opening Brisbane International, a young Russian player switches countries, Petra Kvitova earns even more accolades, and we've got a lot more so make sure to stay tuned. Maria Sharapova has withdrawn from the Brisbane International because of her continuing recovery from a left ankle injury. Sharapova hurt her ankle during a match last September, and she hasn't quite recovered from the injury yet. She tried to compete at the WTA Championships, but she withdrew after losing to Samantha Stozer and Li Na. The Russian told Brisbane tournament officials in a statement released Saturday that, quote, unfortunately my ankle is not 100% and I won't be able to make it this year. In the same statement, Sharapova said she will be ready for the Australian Open. 20-year-old Kiznia Pervak switched her designated country from Russia to Kazakhstan Friday to improve her chances to qualify for the 2012 Olympics. Pervak has had the best season of her career this year. She won her first WTA Tour title in Tashkent, and she went up almost 50 ranking spots to number 39 by the end of the year. She joins a host of other Russian imports to Kazakhstan, including WTA number 58 Galina Voskovoeva and Yaroslava Shvedova. Russian ATP players Mikhail Kukushkin, Andrei Golubev, and Evgeny Korolev have also switched to playing for Kazakhstan because the country lends considerable financial support to its players. Shamil Tarpashev, Russia's longtime Davis and Fed Cup captain, said he had no problem with Pervak switching because there is an agreement between the Russian and Kazakhstan tennis federations to support each other. Now, Pervak wouldn't have qualified to represent Russia in the Olympics as she is the, currently the seventh ranked Russian player. Instead, she is now the top ranked Kazakh player, which means she could qualify for the Olympics. Petra Kvitova was named Czech Athlete of the Year in a poll of sports journalists. The honor adds to the Wimbledon and WTA Championships winner's accolade she's received within the last month. Kvitova was named ITF World Champion as well as the WTA's Player of the Year. She's also nominated for two Loras Awards for World Sportswoman of the Year and Breakthrough Performance of the Year. The Czech won six of her seven titles this year and has gone from number 34 in the beginning of the year to number two. She also posted a 60-13 record for the year, and she helped the Czech Republic win the Fed Cup title. Brad Druitt, a former top 40 player and current ATP senior executive, was named as the organization's new executive chairman and president on Thursday. Druitt, a 53-year-old Australian, was appointed unanimously by the ATP Board of Directors for a three-year term because he was, quote, considered to be ideally qualified to take on the multifaceted role within his extensive experience at the ATP, according to an ATP statement. The Australian has been the CEO of the ATP International Group, which has overseen operations in the Middle East, Asia, and Pacific regions since 1999. Before that, he was an elected member of the ATP Players' Council for six years. Roger Federer, president of the ATP Players' Council, said he thought Druitt was a good choice because he, quote, is a very experienced executive and has been an effective leader within the ATP for many years. He understands the global nature of the business as well as the complexities of dealing with all of the tour's stakeholders. Druitt replaces Adam Helfont, who was appointed in 2009. And that'll do it from us. Remember to check us out at TennisNow.com to stay informed about what's going on in tennis. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we put up new video content. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.